they need that they need to get together and talk. A B. <laughs> yeah. So so, so the you one person that, the one person we're going to. That should be actually the serious nigga. We ain't gonna know until we die if we have that nigga, shit too. Okay. So all right. Hey, welcome back to Talking Spectre Hours. We're your host, TJ Bay, Creflo Loke. Siren Low, Creflo, and your boy Alan Poe. Back once again with the latest and greatest. So let's get into that. So you brought up a topic real fast, Byron, about yeah. Chandler Jones. And and so I'm not sure if a lot of people know about this news, but what is he up to now? I I, I, I read something where he was kind of like, kind of going off the hinges in the, in the past couple of days and they wanted to hospitalize him and he didn't want it like, he didn't want to be hospitalized, and, and he needs to be hospitalized. He talking about head coach got 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 a fucking tight end killed in prison. Why would why would Josh McDaniels want to kill Hernan Aaron Hernandez? That sounds retarded. And why would you sign to a team knowing that this dude got your friend killed in the first place? That's what I know. You took too many hits. You were falling off last year. You had four sacks last year. You didn't help the Raiders at all. You didn't help us at all. You've fallen off. You got us for thirty nine million. Now you're over here talking about our head coach killed Aaron Hernandez. Something's wrong with you. You need help. Hey T, what were you saying about CT? That's what I was saying. Byron just basically put <laughs> nigga. He has it. There's some players you can tell that they have certain signs of severe CTE. You can't. It can't be diagnosed while you're alive. But, you know, you can exhibit behaviors that, you know, it could be attributed to. Nigga. So what Chandler Jones is showing right now is like he had he's taking a lot of hits and he might be, you know, he might have severe CTE. So being being a former football player such as myself and as well as UT, do you not think- not just former is we're from the old school football. Right. So, so my question is, do you think that you personally might have CTE? Me personally, T. I, Titan, um, T. He he got CTE at like seven concussions in two weeks. I don't know how he got a chance to play. He was always catching concussions, so I know he has he has CTE for sure. Nigga, shut up. <laughs> 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 Every time you turn around, this nigga talking about he got a concussion, he out and shit. <laughs> nigga, I play every catch, game. Catch. I play every game in every game. <laughs> RC, uh, at NPC that year, nigga. Every game. Every game you get TCT, every game. Like me personally, I would say I can kind of, you know, after playing, we, after playing for, for my, so many years and then being older, I can. Just I don't want to pinpoint it. It, I, yeah, I don't want to pinpoint it on that, but there are certain decisions that I made which I probably wouldn't have made. You know what I mean? Just think yeah, but we can't that. blame CT for everything, man. You know, niggas no, we don't can't. be niggas. We can't blame CT for everything. Niggas is just niggas. Sometimes niggas is just completely just do dumb stuff. You know, I can't blame CTE for Chandler Jones. That that is that is just the fact that he's falling off, and he can't ha- he can't handle the fact that he's not he's not popular no more. No one cares about him, so now he's just online oh, yeah. making up stuff. What you, you know, mean, man, he uh, he, bro? All he had to do is get like maybe six, seven sacks for y'all, nigga. Y'all be barking Chandler Jones up, and man, we're garbage as hell, man. We're we are garbage, man. Jimmy G. Man, we can ship his ass back to where the fuck he came from, man. I mean, at least you guys won a game, so you know. Do you like... believe? Do you believe now? <laughs> no, I don't believe. I don't believe no more. Oh yeah, hey, let's get into that too. So, um, we talked about. So we're all Chandler Jones, but you said something on on Facebook, Byron, which had me giggling. So you claim that Deion Sanders is the biggest con man. In college football, or or, or, or just the biggest con, the biggest con artist in college football history is Deion Sanders. You know, first he lied to. We can start with Jackson. We can start with Jackson State. He lied to them, said that he was going to bring them into a D one division and make them important. They're going to beat somebody that's real. That never happened. 
That never happened. He took his son's oh, there. Wait, 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 wait. But hold on. yeah, go, go sorry. Hold on, hold on. It, let me. It did. It's the one thing did happen though. Byron, Jackson State is important. No, they're not. Nobody cares they're... about Jackson State no more. Nobody watches them no more. You Nobody watches Jackson. Up. They're still important. He did his They're job. Not important. It's a black college. It's not funded. You don't get no accreditation from black colleges. So, you know, it's not really a good college to go to. That's why black kids, don't, you don't go there. You don't get the accreditation from there. So, this is you what, know. This, this is what we're going to do then. We're going to set up a GoFundMe account in honor of Byron in order uh, for people to, you know, send to Jackson State. So, Byron can send it to Jackson State. So, Tune in, subscribe, get a, you know, do what you do, man, and then hit the GoFundMe, and let's get Byron, you know, what I'm saying, a, yeah, a give good to a, donation to Jackson State, nigga. Yeah, man, give him to a black college, you know what I'm saying? No, I ain't giving shit to Jackson State. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nigga, but, wait, 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 nigga, you got the Charleston White, uh, you got the <laughs> Charleston White energy, nigga, like, why not, nigga? Why you ain't going to give... <laughs> now, is yeah, it just, gotta, now is it just Jackson State or is it all HBCUs? I, fuck all HBCUs, period. Fuck college. College is a scam. You know, just like Deion Sanders. We can get back to the, the scam RC is. Let's talk about this, right? Okay. So we 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 already talk. We could talk about college scams another day, but back to Deion Sanders. He scammed Jackson State, had them believing that they had a chance to actually compete with a Division One team, but in reality hit him when he found out that you can't get the recruits like you thought you was going to get. Yeah, you got a Hunter Henry. You got one five-star recruit to go to Jacksonville, but, bro, it's hard to get five-star recruits to go to an all-black college. It, the, the player has to be completely an idiot to go to a to a, to an all-black college as a five-star athlete. Five-star athletes automatically go to the NFL. All they had to do was perform like they did in, in, in high school, and they automatically go to the NFL. They're five-star athletes. They've been scouted since they were in high school, ninth, tenth grade. So they can go to the black college and yeah, because Travis Henry, he was going to the league anyway. So yeah, so it doesn't matter what college they go. Yeah, hey, but you see, he got up out of there too. He going he he moved to D- Division One, Colorado, and they seen that oh, he is actually real. Now they starting to say he's real. He was real last year, but now they see he's really real when he start performing at a high level. Okay, no. so so let's say if, if if you're Dion, right, and you're spending your own money to build up the the student center or or the locker room, and the college isn't paying you your salary, would you stay? Um, I would have took the job in the first place. That's that, what I'm saying. It was it was con artist type shit, man. It was but like that wasn't a question. Really, though. really, Dion, really, Dion, what he's doing is he been coaching his kids since he been coaching his kids since they were kids. He's always been their head coach. Mm-hmm. So he decides that he wants to be the head coach all the way through their life. He's gonna be a head coach. That's why he's telling his son can't go can't go to the NFL even though he's a top five pick next year he told his son can't go to the NFL help me build this program build what fucking program Colorado will never get fucking built Colorado will never be in the top 10 it is absolutely impossible for Colorado to become a top 10 team do you, it's do, impossible do you know how many players want to go play for him now and who are leaving after this season going into the transfer portal to go play in Colorado? Not to me. Five-star players are doing it, and that's where it counts. The five-star stars four-star. You've seen what Oregon did to them. Four-stars Oregon is a team filled. Oregon is a team filled with five-stars and four-star players, Both. and they showed you what five-star and four-star players do to a bunch of peons. Bo Nix is a, a bunch of peons. Bo Nix is a ninth-year senior. Uh, it doesn't matter. They need matter. Bo Nix. Huh? They got blown. They got blown forty-two to uh seven. They didn't even need him. Who's the starting quarterback? Bo Nix. Okay, so you can't say they don't need him. No, but they was run. They had three hundred yards rushing. They didn't even need Bo Nix. Bo Nix could just hand it off the ball. They still would have blown him by forty. Did you watch the game? Uh, they I got watched the first half. Blown out. I the first half. Sanders looked like his Sanders looked garbage. He had no time. 
He getting thrown to nobody. No, he's running wait, for his life. He's okay. not fast wait, like wait, his dad. Wait, 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 wait. He's not fast that. like his dad. Hold on, hold I'll on. Pass to UT. Hold on. But you can't expect hold that on. his first year to, for him to go to the championship game. So go ahead, T. I'm, I'm going to pass on to you because I know you have something to say. You know, the, this is what I was going to say because Shador Sanders just showed why he's not a top five pick right there in that game. Mm-hmm. He was holding on to the ball too long. Uh, repeatedly, so, too many times, he should have no, got rid of the it. ball. Well, that's why you run shorter routes, check downs. That's the thing about uh, getting to the NFL. He's not ready yet, man. Just because he had a few good games doesn't mean he's completely ready for the NFL. His yeah, uh, beating up on Nebraska and showing your diamond wrist yeah. like he beats him right new. Nebraska ain't been good for twenty years. We ain't heard from Nebraska since Frazier and Frost. So uh, being up on Nebraska is not nothing to be happy about. Well, being that's the a, thing. That's what I'm being saying. Colorado State, yeah, like you didn't He's beat He's not nobody. ready yet. He's but, not ready yet. This all but, started because they beat TCU, who was in the national championship game. So once they beat them, this is what started that whole hoopla. Yeah, but TCU no, was but yeah. TCU just fresh off point. of a senior dump off. Oh, no. They had a whole bunch of sophomores and freshmen. Oh, it don't matter. Wait, You're wait, still ranked. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Time out. Y'all are forgetting the whole point. Did y'all y'all watch the national championship last next year? And even if you didn't, you heard about it. The score was 65 to fucking seven. Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter what TCU was, sixty-five to seven. So them coming into this year, they're not nobody. I'm sorry, I don't care if they're in the national championship. You get beat sixty-five to seven in the national championship, yeah. Regardless of whether you whether you make it there or not, nigga, you don't deserve what you get. <laughs> You're not a oh, good team. But the whole point was was that they were in the national championship game and they were ranked. Colorado wasn't ranked, and Colorado went into TCU Stadium and beat them. Which is what yeah, started the whole stuck. hoopla. Yeah, but you don't. It don't, it don't matter that they're ranked. College, Alan, you don't understand college football. Who don't understand, understand college football? You don't understand college football, Alan. All right, cuz where's your nail at, man? I, you know, I need to now, calm down, cuz I need to calm now, down because I'm about yeah, to be You don't understand. You don't you're understand right, college right. football. Okay, if you understand college football, you will understand that last year TCU's quarterback was Max Duggins. Max Duggins went to the NFL, so they had to start with a brand new quarterback, and their team was filled with a bunch of seniors and juniors. That's why they went to the national championship. The team was veterans already. So their whole team left. They have nothing but sophomores and juniors. They have nothing but sophomores and, and, and juniors starting. That's why they're that's why they rank 17. Yeah, they're young, but they haven't played. None of the players play. I don't think you understand college football. The whole point is I that- do. The whole point I is told that, you that Dion was, was a con artist, and I'm the looking point, mighty right. The whole point is that TCU was ranked. Colorado was not, right? Colorado went in and beat TCU. It doesn't matter who they have playing for them. They were still ranked, which is why when they beat TCU, that's when the whole hoopla started with Colorado starting to get this momentum. That's all I'm saying. No, 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 no. All right. The whole hoopla started because they won in 11 last year, and they – won their first game, which they lost nine straight last year and won one game off of fluke. But they beat a nationally so, ranked team, though, the first I'm game. I'm just saying. That, that, that's what I'm saying. That, that, I know. Well, saying. I understand what you're saying, but all I'm saying is uh, TCU is not nobody, regardless nobody. of uh, them being ranked or whatever the hell because they got beat 65-7 to 7 or something. like It was 60-something to 7. Right. In the national you see what happened when they played the real team. Oregon's a team that you have to measure yourself against. Those are the top 10 teams you measure yourself against those. The LSUs, the Oregon, the, you, you know what I mean, the Michigans. That's where you measure yourself out and find out if you're trash or not. And they found out that they were high, highly, highly garbage. This so, team everyone was talking about were just pure garbage. They got beat down. They can't stop nothing. Shador look lost out there. Wide receivers can't get open. Man, D line just getting punked. O line getting punked. They don't stand a chance against nobody. They they might be last in the Pac-12. The Pac-12 is so deep. You got Washington, Washington State, Oregon, Oregon State. You got Cal's halfway good. You got UCLA, USC. That's so, a death trap. So let's they just say they don't stand a chance in it. So let's just say 
that they face a better team, not that Deion's a con artist. Like that, that, that that's what I don't understand. So it's his first year coaching Division One football, right? And so he loses one game, and now he's a con artist. I guarantee, if he would have won, you would have said, "Oh, nigga, Deion's the best coach I've ever seen in my whole life." Nah, Byron would have said that. That's what I'm saying. No, Byron wouldn't have said. No, he would have said that. Never. Nah, he if, if they would have beat Oregon. He'd be like, "Oh, he Deion's, just Deion's said, the real deal." If they would have beat Oregon, if they would have beat Oregon, that's what still, I'm saying. I, no, I, I, I don't think he would have. <laughs> he was on. Get he, that. he was. He was giving him big ups on Facebook. I, what do you mean? But I oh. know for a fact they wasn't going to be Oregon. For a fact. I mean, it's just already, if you know college football, there's no such thing as belief and hope and trust in college football, bro. There's talent and there's no talent. You got one cornerback that's a two-star on a team from Appalachian State. And you got another nigga that's a five-star receiver like Marvin Harrison Jr. Pat, right, nigga getting 300 yards on him easily. Killing them out there. That's where the talent levels at. Their talent is so different from one from another. Of course, it's but how's he? Different. But how is he a con artist? So, so you never really said why he was a con artist. Because he's selling people dreams. He's selling the state of Colorado dreams so he can get massages on his feet and get and get medical health care. They're not going nowhere. That's why he knows it. He's going to be there for two years, lose for two years, and go with his son to the NFL because he wants to coach his son all the way through since he was a kid. He just want to coach his son. It's possible. So he, somebody's going to take him and his son as a package next year. You know what I mean? Maybe the Chicago Bears. Could be. Maybe. Or, or the Raiders. Hell yeah, I'll take them. That place would be lit in Vegas. Vegas would be on fire. Mm, yeah, but, uh, you know. Uh, 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 yeah. He, just, he won't I mean, have to with Mark Vegas, Davis, right? you know. Home. Yeah, and Mark Davis won't get along. You know what I'm saying? Because Mark Davis is an idiot. He needs I'm gonna say this: if if Shadour comes out next year and the Bears get what the uh, top the Bears ten, are, yeah, Bears top ten pick. We're not winning any game this year. We're tanking. Uh, We'll see after this. We'll see. I mean, y'all not taking. Y'all just we'll not counting like yeah, I kept telling you before, good. bro. <laughs> we'll see after this Sunday, because if y'all do it's end up beating the uh, Broncos, yeah. y'all are just are not are good. Broncos are aren't good this year. No, they just not aren't all. good. Right. It's so. not that y'all taking, you guys are not talented. Like I try to tell you, you have no receivers. You have a quarterback that can't throw. He can't see nothing at all. He's, he's, he's out there blind. He's throwing his, he's throwing his people that's not there. We have no line. You got an offensive line that don't block. Defense is sorry. Defense is pure garbage. Yeah, so. The defense, anybody can pass on there and throw for 300. I think Zach Wilson can throw for 300 on that defense. Damn, that's disrespectful. I respect it, though. All right, mm -hmm. let's move on. This is not the sports show, but yeah, we, we you know we just want to talk about Dion a little bit. So, the con artist. <laughs> What's up, Man. T? You got a thing? Well, I don't have anything in specific that I really want to talk about. It's just over the past couple of weeks, I've been seeing a few things, and you know, I just want to. You know, touch a couple of the bases on them real quick, man. We don't need to stay on them real, you know, long. But the Pat Pools and uh, Remy Ma thing, man. Oh, that came back up. Yeah, that was a good. That was a good battle between uh, Easy to Block Captain and uh, what's his name? Fuck. Nigga, are you talking about a battle rap? Yeah, because they had a battle rap last week, so it was brought back up, which is why they're back in the news again. I'm talking about what Remy Ma be doing to Pat Poose, man. Right, that's what I'm saying. So there was a uh, battle rap. Yeah, between so dude made a battle rap about it. He explained it on detail. Uh, he he told dude to his face how he was wrong, how how Remy Ma was wrong. He was rapping in her face too, telling her how she was wrong for messing with dude and shit. And Pat Poose held, held you down while you was in jail for all those years, and you came out and cheated on. That is fucked up, but. Uh, so it was easy to block Captain Birch's versus Geechee Gotti. And so they had a rap battle last week. And mm -hmm. so part of his third round was that whole uh, easy to block Captain, easy, easy to block Captain and- uh, Said something about Remy Ma. About Remy Ma. And so it's Remy Ma's platform. So it's called Chrome 23. It's her rap battle platform. So they had a battle. So she's sitting there standing in the back, listening to all this shit. 
And so, which is why this is this story has resurfaced again. I'm gonna right. say that I just want to say this real quick, and it's not really on the Remy Ma situation, you mm -hmm. know, Papu situation. It's just a, kind of to women in general. I mean, it ain't to women in general. It's just about women in general, man. I don't know why. This world is so bent on not having good women anymore. He got the 304 rap. You got all sexy, of our got, celebrities. Got sexy Red. Sexy, it's, blame Sexy Red. Sexy yeah. Red is the reason why everything's falling apart. Her. Women is it's going downhill for women. Like... You know, and the, the reason why I wanted to bring this up is because we all three of us have uh, daughters, right? You know, and I ain't trying to have my little girl be no 304, you know what I'm saying? So, one, I don't have to worry about the other one. Is, you know, she's still at the age of, you know, where she's taking shit in and stuff like that, so... The sexy red shit, you know, the Remy Ma situation, yeah. Cardi B, all these bras, man. They instead of singling out females, why don't we just say people are shitty and leave it at that? No, man. No, no, no. I'm not doing I don't give a damn about yeah, people are shitty, but I'm singling out females. <laughs> I'm singling them out. Fuck that. Nigga, I'm not trying to sit here and sugarcoat shit no more in a good way. You know what I'm saying? It, it's, they're on the path of destruction. Somebody has to say something about it. We can't just sit here and not say nothing while these bitches going out there, you know, tossing it up for everybody, you know. And then our babies are seeing this and, you know, because I'm going I'm to tell you right now, if my little girl grew up to be sexy red, I'm not going to be proud of that, nigga. I don't care if she really ain't doing that and she just rapping about it. Like that shit ain't cool to me. Go ahead. So do you <laughs> think that so do you think this is a culmination of music from the past? Especially like male rappers, no. right? No, no, that's what I'm saying. No, I know what you're saying. What am I you saying? Don't say Lil Kim. No, no. I, I said Kim. I said male rappers. Male so rappers. In 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 rap music when males are are talking or spitting their verses, what do they say? Oh, bust it open. I want this type of female, that type of female. So, hey, guess what? That's what the world is now. You wanted it, now you got it. That's why oh, God, so blessed us with God blessed us with sexy red. God said, God said he's tired of us having to deal with these women that think they're too expensive, cost all this money, and you see the girl want to be girls, want to see her and cash you out. Like them you know, God, yeah, God, like didn't like that. God didn't like that. God's a black man. He didn't like that. He's like, man, y'all is getting too expensive. I don't know. I don't know paying no car just to mess with you. Come on, that sounds crazy as fuck. Yeah. For a nigga to buy a girl a fucking Mercedes just to just to fuck. That sounds crazy. And God seen that too. That's why he created Sexy Red. And Sexy Red made everything easy for niggas. And that's what real. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god well i guess thank you sexy red yeah i know you don't want your daughter to end up like sexy red i definitely do i didn't want my daughter to end up like that either you know I'm, I'm so i'm so proud she's in college she started college yesterday nice i'm proud of my daughter i'm really yeah. proud of her you know but i always kept it real with her that's the reason why i always told her niggas ain't shit and I always told her, I always, I always told her stay in school. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to be, you don't want to, you don't, you don't want to be out in the streets. And, and she had cousins that, that, that were out in the streets and had multiple kids. So it kind of like scared her away from doing all that shit, having kids. So mm -hmm. that's good. She experienced that, you know? Well, it's good. I mean, shout out to the, you know, to the little kids and the girls that, you know, see past that because <laughs> it's 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 a little you know it's a little much to take in now. You know, just seeing all this shit, and you know, I, I I've heard it before, and like Al mentioned a while back in a couple of episodes, like Lil Kim, they were doing it before, but 
I don't know. It just don't seem so prevalent now. You know, you got the bitch. Uh, what's her name? Yuki Han. You uh, what's her Yukiana, name? Yukiana. Yuki Han walking around. Uh, you know, London and shit, talking about she trying to get her coochie scratched and shit. Because like, like what? The, what is this now, man? Like. All these bitches, like we said, is turning masculine and shit. Like, you know, you got a bitch that, you know, she'll come up on you. Nigga, you on, she gonna have a one night stand with you. And then she gonna dip out and not call you no more, nigga, and be with the next nigga the next day. Like, that's, is this, <laughs> is this what we, is this what? Uh, hey, you reap what you sow, man. I, like, that, that's what I'm saying. Is this you reap what, what you sow. We, well, you can't have it good both ways. You can't have it good both ways. You can't want I mean, a freak nasty girl and then and then you know want everything to be your way and be you know she has to love me only and stuff. It just doesn't. It just never works that way. You know. There's some good ones out there though, man. I'm not leaving y'all. Freak nasty. No, I'm good women out there, and uh, I'm just trying I to freak give us. I know you said that, but I want to give a shout out to the good women out there. Yeah, <laughs> good women are boring. Nobody wants no boring ass women. Nah, like okay. Yeah, we do. <laughs> yes, we do. We do now. Uh, uh, to we, a certain extent. We tired of you three oh. <laughs> no, like we tired like, of you three oh fours and you six oh eights. You know, you whatever. Just like you what? know, like you, Brittany Renners of the world. Like, you know, I know y'all heard that too. But yeah, we'll it's, only 30, that in a it's only 35. 35 anyway, ain't really we'll, high hold on, hold on. We can talk about that. If 35 is hot, we can talk about the subject. If yeah, that's the subject. Yeah, if that's you want a good, hold on. If you want a good girl, though, it's okay to have one as long as when we're alone, you're nasty with me. That's what niggas really want. Yeah, but how many how many men has she been nasty with just one time? That's the whole question. Like, really, she just all of a sudden just turned nasty with you? That's a bunch of bullshit. Either she's nasty or not, but she's been nasty with somebody before. She didn't just have one guy she was just nasty with. Get the hell out of here. Hey, man. I'm, I, <laughs> I'm just giving. I'm giving scenarios. But yeah. well, I'm a freak. Always oh, a freak. Yeah. That's always a man's mindset. Is like, yeah, she's a good girl. As long as she's nasty with me, I'm cool. Yeah, and you got the niggas that pop up. Yeah, I'll nigga that turned mm-hmm. her out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're welcome. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah. Who are you, nigga? Like, uh, well, I don't worry about well, it. <laughs> it on well, dead president. Nigga on dead president. Uh, what's his name? <laughs> So, T, T, you think that 35 is a large number for a woman? All right, let's get into it. Shit. Let's get so, into it. So, so, we're talking about bodies. All right. We, we got the body count. I don't know. It depends. For my girl, yes. To me, that's, yes, that's a lot for my girl to have. But, I mean, for anybody else. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's on them. That's a great point. But what age are you meeting her at? So let's say if you never were involved with anyone, you never got married, you never in a serious relationship. So you meet someone at 40 years old and she's 40, but she had 35 people that she slept with. It's all perception because like, you know, that's what, two bodies a year. But it's age too, it's age. (laughs) It's 19 and it's 40, so. So it's two bodies a year every (laughs) 20 years straight. Like, oh yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that sound, that sound a little different than just being like, oh yeah, I've been with 35 men. And you know, you don't know the age and all that shit, but if she like 22 or, you know, 20, then you like, I've been with like 35 men, you gonna be like, like hold on yeah like but is she like 40 you know whatever you know it's i mean it is what it is but like we said it's our perception of that is nigga guys are supposed to you know (laughs) get their dick wet women are supposed to protect they you know whatever you know so i don't i don't think i never messed with a woman that had messed with like five to ten guys only or some shit like that like that's just unbelievable like it depends yeah like you said it 
if you if you 20 and shit like that, you know, it's five, 10 guys, like you said, you probably gonna be like, okay, like, like hold on, it ain't, you're not, you're not gonna make her your girl. So let's just get that out there right now. Yeah, but say, like, like most women, but most women after- are sexually active, like around middle school, high school. That's when most women are sexually active now, since I've been in school. That's when they were sexually active, like around middle school, high school. So you say the last 30 years, a lot of women have been sexually active be- between middle school and high school. So right. Right. five to ten, five to ten could be done. They could have that already <laughs> by so- sophomore year already. They could have bodied that by uh, yeah. eighth grade. Huh? I mean, they could be at like 20 already, fresh out of high school already at 20. You know what I mean? Like, True. So, like, what do you, how do you judge that and say, oh, damn, well, okay, at 40 years old, that means she stretches out two bodies a day and all that <laughs> shit. Like, what the, f- the fuck are you talking about, T? T went in the mask and shit. That's it, yeah. Maybe if you just think about, yourself, man. if you think about averages, like, the law of averages, nigga, like, you just say, like, okay, she 40, nigga. Okay, nigga, she 40, I'm 40. Nigga. Like, hey, you he was fucking, I was fucking. You figure, yeah, like, but she may have, she probably she started when she was 15. She, she may have had a year where she just didn't give a fuck and, and ran it up, like, <laughs> one or two years, like. And <laughs> join the sex club and just <laughs> start busting it out. Started being a serial killer. <laughs> <laughs> taking all, <laughs> taking all the VIN numbers, taking all the VIN numbers. Nigga just bodying everybody. She see, uh, but I, I guess you know. I mean, I guess it's just how much, you, what kind of connection you got with the girl, or if you actually like her. Yeah, you can get past it. And the reason why I said that that forty age is like when you're 40 nigga you, your days are numbered nigga so at that point <laughs> at that point it's about time you're like hey let me just be with someone who can take care of me that you know i don't want to be alone when i die you know that, that that's a scary thing you know what i mean so yeah at the age of 40 uh, you some of these niggas whatever because you ride with me for the rest of my life so fuck it yeah I ain't you on pills most people 40s on pills they're trying to live through life trying to survive like we don't, I mean, we we ain't got time to worry about what the fuck you what happened to you in the past and all that shit. I don't, I I never really dug deep in the past of a woman and goddamn, cause I, every everything was a lie. I never really got the, you never get the real true body count, cause they don't know the real true body count. You know, so how do they come up with these numbers? When are these girls writing this shit down? <laughs> oh, believe me, some do. Nah. <laughs> some do. Maybe Somehow back in the day, like like I said, the Mildreds yeah. of the world, 1975 Mildreds. Yeah. Man, yeah, that's it. Yeah, them journals, some of them old school journals got everybody yeah. in it. <laughs> hey, all right. So Put you got cobwebs, all types of stuff. <laughs> since you since you guys brought this scenario up. So let's say you were like 70 years old, right? And your lady had <laughs> passed, right? So of course, you know, you're mourning and and you're cleaning up the house. And you stumble upon her uh her journal, right? <laughs> and of course, <laughs> of, of course you're gonna read it. How are you gonna feel about it? It's just like, oh yeah, on this day, such and such. Uh, you know, Tyrone came and broke me down real quick. Oh, he was massive, <laughs> and you're reading all this shit at seven years old, like this bitch didn't tell me nothing about this shit. How would you feel about it? Wait, this is it during their relationship or before? No, no uh no, this is uh, it could be it could be before or it, it right. could be during as far as like if you guys aren't really serious yet so it, it could be in that time frame <laughs> and and there's like 10 and there's 10 entries of tyrone yeah. <laughs> and you, stupid, but you know what i'm saying you're sitting there with tyrone, you know and nigga anything gonna feel some type of way fuck that man <laughs> they don't care who you is man <laughs> I don't care who you is, nigga. You gonna feel some type of way, nigga. You see ten entries of Tyrone, nigga, and your name Thomas or something, nigga. Like, <laughs> oh, man. Man, man, fuck that. But even at seventy, yes. Like, fuck it. I, don't, I wouldn't. I mean, at seventy, I don't know where she got it. Yeah, yeah, I don't, you I don't like, even think man. about. I don't even honestly. I don't even think about seventy. Seventy. You're gonna be like, man, this bitch. Yeah, like. You're gonna go to the gravesite. You're gonna go to the gravesite, like, cuss it out, like, you son of a bitch. Nigga. 
Nigga, I know about Tyrone. Oh, yeah, I know about Tyrone. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know about Tyrone. I know your ass can hear me. <laughs> you start digging, start digging it like, no, I'm coming to get you. I'm about to get you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bitch, you know. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, or so the, what do you, you know, feel about you, you, Alan? You didn't answer the question. What do you feel about, about thirty-five bodies? Um, that's a lot, nigga. Alan, no, Aries, no, no, I'm in the tours. It is a lot. What's that got to do with it? It is a lot. Um, what you mean? Nigga? Like I said, it depends on 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 the age range. If it's if I'm meeting someone at forty, I mean, okay. It is what oh, it you is. rounded you rounded it out like T's doing to a to a year. Okay, no, she did two no, a what year. I'm, what I'm saying, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not even saying two a year though. What I'm saying is, is that at 40 years old, you would you kind of expect or you probably imagine, especially yeah, why does why does on, age matter so? Why does age matter so much? Because maybe well, it, I mean it's forty years, so I mean you would have when you're you younger. Expect. I don't give a damn who you like. You say like this is what we was taught. When you're younger, you you don't wife a girl that got bodies on. So at forty, well, the reason why he keeps saying this is, is it's that rule is a little more lax. Like it's like you can get past stuff like there's this. no rule you. to that though nobody nobody well, who yeah. made these fucking rules up like if these nigga, are Byron, rules, nigga. Man. even at 35 you know I, mean, I, I'm, nigga, I don't care nigga byron the only nigga I don't follow no rules that, that, that don't care exactly, that exactly. yeah because exactly, niggas man. be on some bullshit niggas be lying niggas like oh, oh i only mess with girls with two or three they all be lying all these niggas do is just lie all day the girls oh, yeah. are freaky enough to be with. They gonna be. They don't give a damn. They they got amnesia all of a sudden, nigga. When 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 it goes down, they got amnesia. They forget all about the body counts and everything when it goes down. <laughs> so all these niggas just be fucking lying, man. You, just, you sit there with this face. Look, look, bro. Yeah. Like sexy red says she was a raw dog queen. On a fucking interview, she says she's a raw dog queen, and this nigga still had her in the bed. Smoking a blunt on live with her in the bed, like happy as hell he got her inside the bed. You think that nigga gave a damn about her being the raw dog queen? He didn't give a goddamn. He went in raw too. He looked like a nigga that went in raw. He didn't give a fuck. Wow. Um, I'm speechless. <laughs> I'm utterly speechless, nigga. Hey, you know what, though? Um, a lot of females don't like condoms, so I'm pretty sure there are a lot more raw dog queens <laughs> than you think. No, she called herself the raw dog queen in an interview, on an interview, live interview. I'm the raw dog queen. How worse can you be? How worse can you be? And this guy didn't give a damn. He was showing her all Instagram. He was happy to have her in the bed. He didn't give a damn about whatever happened to her past life. Because most niggas don't give a damn. Man, most niggas I, lying. I got, her, I got, I got now. Wait, I got a message, nigga. To you know, all these, all of us niggas in the world, man. We got to knew better, so we do better, man. <laughs> this shit crazy. Do better, okay. man. They about to have a, they about to have a fucking uh, we about to have a federal shutdown. How do we do better? <laughs> man, yeah, they gonna shut us down again. That's some bullshit, dude. I'm out. Yeah, they, yeah, it is. Yeah, it it, it is. I'm out. Shutdown is coming, and it's gonna affect black people because we depend on the government tremendously. So exactly. Making my reparations real quick, nigga. Man, fuck the reparations. We, getting, man, we, we gotta that get. Shit. No, they just gonna keep talking about it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, and that's gonna get keep us hopeful. <laughs> nigga <be> <laughs> hey, hey, nigga, be like, nigga, soon, nigga, the nigga gonna be like soon, nigga. You know what I'm saying, nigga? Yeah, yeah. nigga gonna be in that casket. Dead I look like at that. Yeah. I look at yeah. reparations like the Martin Luther King. We <laughs> shall overcome. We ain't ever overcame shit. We've been talking about overcoming for like about fifty years. We still ain't overcame nothing. We ain't overcome yeah. racism. We ain't overcome money. We ain't overcome businesses. We ain't overcome a goddamn thing. The only thing we overcome is with a lot of cut. That's the only thing we overcome. <laughs> yeah, oh, bye. Or, or come over. I, I, I hear what you're saying. 
Yeah. Uh, yeah. Man. Wow. Um, all right. This nigga leaving us speechless in the night. <laughs> he on it right now. He on it right he now. Saw, he he sucked right us now. in the face with these uh, verbals, nigga. Like, <laughs> Yo, he, yeah, he's definitely on right now. Um, <laughs> Hollywood. <laughs> hey, so speaking of body counts, Hollywood divorces. Right. Who? Hollywood divorces. Right. So I know Ooh. that was one of the. T- I know that was one of the topics that we want to touch. Yeah, on. I know. I know it. You know the Who's... Asian girl. She tried to. Oh, you know, okay. she tried. She she tried to uh, play Jeezy. You know, try to come in and foul, thinking like, okay, you you were a white guy for ten years coming at him foul. You got with a nigga from Atlanta. They thought you come at him foul. He divorced your ass. Quit put them papers in quick. Got rid of your ass fast as hell. So now she wants some back and everything, and is crying. She'd be a better person, but it's too late. <laughs> Uh, who else had a divorce? Iman Shepard, T.I. I thought they'd never break up, but yeah, it's, so, it's, you know, hey, what I do respect about them because no one really knew about it, so apparently they were separated for years, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, if you're able to split amicably between each partner, you guys are taking your kids, and but you still have love for each other, if it's like, hey, this, this is not working, but we can still be friends, and if that can work out, that's better than being better rivals as far as like Jeezy's situation. You know what I mean? Who's with who is with least. Amon Shumpert? Um T.I. Taylor. Yeah. Oh. That's my bitch. Yeah, she hella far. I didn't know that. Yeah, for yeah. For, for a decade they, or they so. They used to do all types of TikToks oh, and all that shit. That shit went to hell. And everything went to hell. I thought that nigga was bisexual. That's probably what happened. That's why they broke up. You never know what was going on. Shit, he looked. He weird. just appeared like you know. He appeared like one of the metrosexual niggas, like you know. Yeah, but metrosexual is not bisexual, man. You can't. Yeah, put yeah it on. I know. I know. <laughs> Come on, man. Like, yeah, you have a pla- hey, you have a platform here, a, man. You can be putting it on niggas. Like, there are some niggas. And we are, and and we are three niggas sitting here talking. Like, niggas, you like to drink? Like, so no, I do not. No, whenever you go out somewhere to like a nice restaurant, do you dress up? Would you, okay, no. what is your definition of metrosexual? Someone who dresses well. That's my definition. So, oh, okay. so they're, always put, they're always put together, hair's done, beer's nice, dressed up to the nines. That's what I call, that's what I consider metrosexual. I'm not sure. To the nines, okay. Ooh. My so you're definition. A you're a metrosexual, Alan. Uh, if it comes down to me going to like a gala or to like some type of big event, yeah, I'll, I'll wear a tuxedo, look nice. Nah, man, it's yeah. it's beyond that. I thought, nigga, I thought it was like, nigga, you wear shit that's like tight and, <laughs> and revealing and all kinds of shit like that. Oh, nigga, like, oh, like a sheer tank top. Nigga, oh, yeah, <laughs> like yeah, that's what I thought. Metrosexual is, nigga. I might be mistaken. I'm, Me I'm too. Been, I, I'm mistaken. I might. I could be, be wrong as well. I always thought it was like someone who just always looks presentable and always dresses up nice. That's what I figured it was, you know. That's just that's dressing well, ain't it? I mean, I mean, metrosexual has to do with sexuality, nigga. So it's, it's something, it has to do with something with me, uh, sexuality or they wouldn't have put sexual on it. Someone just named it that and that's just what took off. Well, to me, nigga, is a nigga wearing a tight shirt. Nigga, like, you know, walking around in some tight pants and shit like the shit they wear to these days like a nigga should not be a dude should not be walking around with thigh high shorts on you know what i'm saying like this is what i'm saying like nigga i don't want to see a nigga legs and shit like that and then wearing those socks too because you see a nigga bony ass ankles too like, but where are you but where are you at though are you on a yacht nigga i play like this if i get invited on a yacht and nigga, I'll, I'll wear uh shorts, you know, right above the knee, with, with, with some boat shoes, no socks. That's the look. That, well, that's me. I'm wearing some basketball shorts and some flip flops, nigga, and maybe a tank top, nigga. Like, <laughs> that's nigga. So, if wait, wait, you wait, invite wait. me, yes. If you invite me on your job, you're gonna get me. You're not gonna get some nigga trying to perpetrate. Like I'm trying to be like y'all, like. I'm me, nigga. I'm gonna come on the yacht, nigga, with my shorts on and my flip flops. So nigga. you ever heard of you, you ever heard of like dressing to wherever you go? 
Yes. Um, that, that's yeah, like I saying, mean, that's... I heard of it. Right. That's like saying, hey, I'm going to a funeral. I'm wearing basketball shorts and a tank top and flip-flops because that's me. No, there's, you, you there's dress etiquette. Right, there's that's etiquette, what I'm saying. Nigga, but th- that's a funeral. Of course, you, nigga, that's disrespectful if you come with basketball shorts and a flip-flop. But if I'm going to chill on somebody's yacht, and they invite me on their yacht for a good time, nigga. They gonna get the Titan man they invited. Uh, no. Not the niggas that wants to be like them, trying to spend fifteen hundred dollars to get a pair of shorts just so I can perpetrate like um, you know, one of them. No, that's not me. So, 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 what you're saying is you're wearing and one apparel. And one. <laughs> And one apparel to wear. Man, nigga, and, and yacht. Nobody... nigga said basketball shorts and flip flops. You were an and one apparel. I, I, did I say and one? Nigga? I'm just saying, I mean, like, I'm thinking if you say basketball be, shorts. Nigga, 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 I don't own a pair of and one. I have Adidas shorts. I have Nike shorts. I have shit like that. So that's what you're going to get. And ones, nigga. Like, what kind of savage are you, guys? Mm-hmm. Nigga, I got some Under Armour, you know, shit like. Shit like that. He said, what kind of sad? <laughs> You're like, nigga. I'm going to go on that yacht and then he's going to be like, oh, that nigga broke. Like, damn. <laughs> I can't make nobody talking to me because I guess these and ones ain't hitting. Oh, then they <laughs> nigga, <damn. laughs> nigga, what's the bathroom? What's this fit like? Man, this Nike yeah, fit, man. nigga. Like, hey, look, come on, man. man. Hard, Motherfuckers man. don't want to cons- talk to me, nigga, because I got on Nike and some shit, man. Yeah, nigga. I thought I was looking nice. <laughs> oh, shit. What up? Hey, that shit was funny, cuz I just made me think of something, cuz you, you ever go to a dance back in the day, cuz you thought you looked flyer in the motherfucker, and you get there and. <laughs> Yeah, and then everybody clown you. <laughs> um, I thought look fly during the eighth grade uh, field trip to Great America. And we had <laughs> and, and we had that talk when I had the uh, the whole short set with the with, with the suede <laughs> on the front. I was like, yeah, now I'm looking hard, nigga. Ain't nobody got this shit, nigga. I thought I was looking top notch, nigga. I want look back at that shit like, nigga, you like a straight clown. But ain't nobody say nothing though. <laughs> and if I say nothing, like, oh, ah, that's dope. Yeah, hey, yeah you dope, rock, nigga. You know, nigga. better be dope. Nigga. <laughs> I get it. It's all about confidence, my nigga. It's true. Like Byron got that Cowboys uh, jersey on right now. He nah, this, is, this, right. Is Negro, this is a Negro League. This, this is an eighty dollar Negro League jersey. This is not Cowboys. Negro League. Homestead Grays. They ain't no damn cowboys. <laughs> you see the cowboys fan, they sad as fuck. You ain't heard from them the whole week. <laughs> yeah, look at this. <laughs> they, they, lost, they, 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 they blame they lost on the DB. We lost our DB. Yeah, nothing to do with the nigga running for 300 yards on y'all ass. Y'all niggas just garbage. Dak was garbage. He been garbage. He's a kind artist, too. He took Dallas's money. I he keep lying. Oh, yeah. He's talking okay. about he's going to get better. He's still garbage. I say they, they, Dak they, is more of a con artist than, than Dion would ever be mentioned as anything being a con artist. Dax. Yeah, most definitely Dak is a con artist. For sure. He's always lying every year talking about he's going to change and be different this year. He's still throwing in triple coverage. You still can't see the field. You still, you know, still act like a black quarterback. So I don't know, man. I ain't seen Out. That. Al, what's, what's with the baffled ass face? Nigga? Well, because I'm trying to figure out how he's a con artist when the owner is the one who who wants to pay him this money. Because he did all that holding out. He shit, forced nigga, him. Yeah, forced Jerry yeah, Jones he, to pay him nigga, all that money. He didn't force him. He could have went to the draft and got a quarterback. Jerry Jones wanted Dak Prescott as his quarterback. They made a me- the media made him feel bad and shit. Like if he didn't sign Dak, that yeah. was the worst thing he oh, yeah. could do. All he didn't the, do that. Like all the, the media made him sound horrible. Shit. Dak they deserves give his Dak money. money. Yeah, give Dak his yeah. money. Yeah, like, he don't deserve money. it. Mm-hmm. Look at he the don't U- deserve it. Look at the Uso brothers, guys, tag teaming once again. Nah, but see, nah, but Jerry nah, Jones, nah, he nah. always got people to talk him into doing dumb deals, just like the Zeke Elliott deal. He didn't want to do that deal. He was right. He's always right. Don't do the deal. He did the deal. Zeke Elliott ate 20 more sandwiches, 400 pounds, and rushed for 15 yards a game, making 70 million. But that's 
but how is that that being a con man when he's the one paying him? That, that that's what I understand. Like yeah, if because, you feel because, if, if all right, he's here, a con here, man, here, here, here. get rid this of him. Is, you wanted him so bad, so you decided to to put him as bullshit and pay. If him. you go into okay, let me give you a, a scenario. If you go into someone's office, you as a person will flip this. Say if we went into Robinson's mm-hmm. uh, office and we was like, Robinson, you need to play us this year. We are the best thing that you have going. We are going to win you a championship. We guarantee this for you. We should be playing both ways, all times like that. And we get out there and completely suck. That is a con. We yeah. con him into that. But Dak Ezekiel Elliott, Dak, Dak played, he does, but he doesn't completely suck though, and he, and neither did Ezekiel Elliott. He led the league in rushing the like his first four or five years. What are you talking Cause about? Because he had because he had a massive O line. Because but who's with three all pros on it? Okay, massive. Ezekiel Elliott had one of the best lines. He, he did probably he did. In, in the NFL history, and he put up how many yards? Fifteen oh. a year down there. But okay, so, so do you, so yeah, he, so yeah. do you, do you not deserve to get paid? I it, it depends. I mean, pay running backs. I never pay running back. I never played them. I never paid them in Madden. They want some money. They got to get on. I don't care. I can always find some young ass <laughs> nigga out there that can run between the tackles, running right. the four. I'm not paying a running back. You must have lost your mind if you pay running backs. That, that's why teams fall off doing dumb stuff like that. Look at the Giants. Pay Saquon all that money. They get still garbage. Can't win the game. It's, that's not Saquon's fault. Mm-hmm. You paid them all that money to use that money towards defense. You got a rookie running back. Al, you're 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 missing you're missing. No, you didn't have to pay punchline. You're missing the punchline of how they're con artists, though. They're what they're doing is like they're doing this shit like you know up until their contract year they're demanding to get paid and then they're just completely falling off not you know working hard you know they don't work hard anymore you know they don't perform like you know like the contract with the stated we seen that in in a, in a lot of players i agree and then a lot of players are con artists Point taken, point taken. Until you get that money, because if you don't work hard after you get a $25 million a year check, make it like you're a con artist. Like Chandler Jones, we gave you $55 million. How? And you gave us four cents. You're... Hold on, hold on, hold on. What the so, fuck hold on, hold on, you hold on, mean, hold on, hold on. So for the first five years of my rookie contract, when you're paying me $937,000, right? And okay. I'm the leading rusher for five years in a row. Okay. So now that I get paid and I don't, I'm not doing well, and now I'm a car artist. Yes. I mean, yeah. How I, I gave yes. you five, I gave you five years balling out, and you paid me cheap. No, he gave him two years. Don't give him no five years. When you give him five years, he gave him two years of good football. After they start eating sandwiches, nigga, get out of here, nigga. Ow. And the whole point is what we're saying is like you balled your ass out to get the contract to get paid, and yeah. then you stop. Okay. I balled out to get paid. I did my job. How's that being a con artist? Then you're a con artist. How? Nigga, you just trying to be combative. And- no, I'm, I'm being serious. If I bought nigga, up for five we years. Just said it, we just said how you're a con artist, and you said how. You keep saying how. Yeah, because you, you keep <laughs> explaining. Be- because you're not explaining it. Yes, we are. No, if you're not. You go, if you work hard to get paid, and then you get paid, and then you do not work hard and you do not perform like you did. You are a con artist because you only did that to get paid. Why that do you is what a con whoa, whoa, whoa. artist does? Why do you work? They only do shit to get paid. Titan. That is what? not just that is not a con, that is a worker. That I, is a worker. I'm gonna bring this to you now. So okay. in your job, right? You start yes. off, you start off on the lower tier, correct? I started off. Okay. Making the minimum amount of money. Yes. And and you worked hard and moved yourself up, right? Yes. And I continued to work hard. You got paid for it, right? Yes. Okay. Now, what you're doing, you worked hard to get paid for it. NFL players work hard to get paid for it. Two do- two totally different fields. 
right? It's like you have to keep continuing to work. But once yes. you get that big payday, I can be out. I'm done. I can retire once I get paid. But then, okay, yeah, no, yeah. no, no, that's why okay. I never, I never yeah. put a nigga yeah. like you yeah. on a team, yeah. Alan. I never have a nigga hey. like you on a hey. team. Yeah. I mean, I feel like yeah. you might want to. Hey, you might want to. Hey, guess what? Hey, guess what? You'd win a lot of games if I was on your team. You was. Hell no, nah, nah, you already Al, say you, you, you already say you'll Patty. crash out after you get your money. Yeah. You don't care Maybe no more. That's what you said. I got you my money. Hold on, hold on. I gave y'all two garbage seasons and no one cared about. I got my money and, and I gave y'all two fantastic seasons. And now I could just just show uh, well, show up on a field with a jersey on with the last name and and niggas supposed to respect me after that. Uh yeah. I mean You're people are buying your jerseys. <laughs> you're getting the money back nigga you got people buying your tickets you got fans buying your jerseys so the, the company's getting their money back people like, if you list, if you're listening to this please Byron. who do you comment below you know do what y'all do because real are fast you a con artist real fast Byron. or are you not so let's say you're uh Man, on, we, uh, hold on, on. wait wait you what gotta get done? the hold people on. you gotta get the people engaged too from especially on some bs that you you're, you're how's saying that be, how's that bs okay because so, you're not saying that's a con artist that is how he worked f hard five years to get paid he deserved to get paid right i can't turn the car off God. yes he deserved to get paid okay so how's your con artist so did he does not deserve to keep working hard after that, he gets paid that's on him but he worked hard to get paid that's what i'm saying so how is he a car artist because he worked hard because, and got paid for his work because we're saying that after the fact that if you do not that's keep not working you, hard you yes that. that is what it yes you didn't say that, that. Is what it's, yeah. we can do this all day you didn't say that no we can artist. we can you can go back yes because if we said if you go if you take if you work hard to get money and then you do not work hard after that. You are a con artist. That is what was said. That is the initial statement. And then you are saying, if you work hard to get paid, and then you're stopping it right there, you're not adding what what was else was said into it. That's why you're being combative. You're, and that's you why you're adding. not understanding because you're not adding what, what else was said. I'm adding. <laughs> said, I'm adding. Yeah. You get your money and you do not continue to work hard you are a con artist, which is Dak. I said, if he you is bust not your working it, hard, I he said, if you bust your ass now. five years to get paid, right? So you're making minimum and you bust your ass to get paid, right? Yes. And you get paid. How is that a con that, artist? That, so, that, so that decides. So after you get paid, that, after that, you just decide to eat sandwiches. Of course, and that's and not. Eat and not run no more, run for two yards a K. Did I, not work, did I not work for what I made? God damn, man. Alan, I would See, never, Alan, I, yeah, I don't yeah, know yeah, when Alan, nobody this, this, from your sports is, organization yeah. ever, man. This is not you going know? nowhere, Alan. And that's the reason why the Raiders are garbage. Dude, that, that's you're exactly cutting what the Raiders do. I'm not cutting off. I'm, the Raiders, I, I'm, I'm trying to bring it up. They feel the same as, way you as feel. As soon as you got paid, they you're not going to get on this team. Hey, they, you come to the Raiders. Don't play hard. Forget how to play football. Everybody forgets how to play football in the Raiders. You know what's crazy is that the fact that you guys are missing the point. What I'm trying to say is, if you bust your ass for five years to get paid and you get paid, right? Do you not deserve that payment? That's all I'm saying. And you said yes, right? Yes. Okay. So how's that a con artist? Be There's initial parts to this thing. What you're saying is what you brought up yourself. What we're saying is you're a con artist if you do not continue to keep working after you get paid. You're the only one saying. I bust my ass for five you, years. You're asking, oh my God, Al, you're a smart, intelligent brother, man. Yeah, Come and, on, and I, that, that's like, why that's why I'm so confused why why we're not yeah, on the I same mean, page here. Yeah, I, this is how I'm not confused how you're not saying like if you don't work hard after you get paid, you're not a con. You're a con. I mean, how are you a con artist? That don't make sense. You're a con artist if you do not continue to work hard and get paid, especially after you got paid. But because I, you're okay. getting paid because you worked hard. And you're also getting paid because you bust your ass for five years, which is why you got that payment in the first place. Yeah, but if you didn't, if you would have... Then you, you, then, then you, you would continue ass. to work hard. 
How are you not getting one? And, and, and this is the main get, reason why the NFL is fucked not, up. You if you're not getting like paid. <laughs> That's you're why the NFL is fucked up. You got people like Allen. Right. They, once they get paid. They want to bust their ass yeah. until they get there's paid. A nigga named, they, there's a nigga named Allen. I'm just the saying same thing. I, I'm you sure. Know, all Allens think alike. Allen Robinson did the same thing for y'all. He got his money. And then uh, not from the Bears. No more. He couldn't run no more. He couldn't do shit for y'all. Didn't get it from the Bears. Oh, let's not even talk about the all the Raiders who raped y'all. Like, come on, man. We're not even yeah, talking we football. stay in raped. We get raped all the time. Everything that comes to our team don't know how to play no more. Jamarcus so. Russell was a con artist. Yeah, oh, he, he was kind of raped. He kind of raped. Wasn't watching film. Got his Chipping money and like, yep, just started watching film. And nigga, he's like, nigga, I'm going to come in here. I'm going to do my job. When the OTAs, when he went to the combine, that's what they do. They interview him. What are they sitting there doing in the interview? They're talking about, well, if you come in, how are you going to change this organization? Well, I'm going to be the first one to get there. I'll be the last one to leave. And then this nigga get there because, nigga, you didn't even show up. Like, nigga, you're a con artist. You gave, We gave you $68 million, nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? Depending on the, your interview saying that you was going to do all this. Uh, this is what you we laid out for you. You said you was going to do all this. We gave you your $68 million. Where are you at? You didn't come. You didn't show up. You didn't do anything. You're a con artist, okay? Now, same thing. If you showed up and you bust your ass for that five years and then you don't show up after that and we paid you that money, you conned us. You're a con artist. We can talk about I'm this saying. all day and argue about this all day, man. My phone is getting ready to die, man. I ain't going to lie to you, man. Al's arguing dead, too. Al's Al, argument Al, dead. Al argued about this for three hours. <laughs> How's well, argument here's dead? another saw, case. I, yeah, and I, 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 I said, no one is, nigga. Talk, con artist, said, nigga. Hey. Hey, you guys, you guys, both of y'all niggas. No one is, Alan. Both of y'all need to go to WWE, become tag team champions, because no Man. one's holding their own point. So what I'm saying is, if I bust Man. my ass, so, 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 for instance, Ezekiel Elliott, first six years, thousand yard rusher, right? Con artist. Yes. So does he deserve to get paid? That, that's all I'm saying. Now, not even deserve to get paid. This is as fast as right now. Not now. I'm talking about. I'm, I'm talking about then. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not talking about now. I'm talking about then. Did he deserve to get paid or not? You're no. missing the point. Even if he, if we knew what he was going to do now, no, he did not get the, the like. No, no. If we knew you wasn't going to come, no. If you, we knew you was going to come looking like a fat Ewok after we gave you yeah. the, the fucking twenty five million a year, nigga. Like you know, you kind of nigga. We did not know Period. you was gonna show up to training camp. You know what I'm saying? With a butt and 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 <laughs> <laughs> and thumb the thighs. <laughs> you said with a butt. <laughs> yeah, Looking like a red a bone. bone. Like, yeah, yeah, this oh, nigga got an ass now and all types of shit. <laughs> you know, the the shit. Nigga, nigga <laughs> got his money. It, that's how that's that's what the stigma is becoming the niggas start calling him big, and big Michael butt Parsons, because we're gonna see too because Mike Parsons is coming up. He's still in his rookie contract. If he don't perform after you know, after what he's doing like that, oh man, he's getting paid, he's getting paid like 300 million, man. He, yeah, he, he already, and he better right. perform after that, or he, or he's a con artist, period. I mean I Shit, if I'm getting paid 200 million, I'm gonna show up. I mean, that's a lot of incentive, you know what I'm saying? I don't think that's I don't like, think nobody's asking to fuck off a 200 million. I haven't seen too many people fuck off a 200 million dollar deal except Dak. Dak's the only player I've seen fuck off a 200 million dollar deal. All right, one last thing. Uh, what mistakes would you change from the past that you ever made? Like me, for instance, um, putting on curl activator. And wearing a jerry curl bag when I didn't have a jerry curl. I think that fucking ruined my hair. I remember that nigga used to play football, flag football in that thing too, huh? That shit was <laughs> hella musty. Nigga, that nigga wanted an S curl so bad. I wouldn't I, I wouldn't never play sports. Never. I think I I think I would I I wouldn't never play sports either. I probably, I, think I, I, probably wish. Should, I, I probably should have sold dope instead of playing sports, man. That's what I'm saying. Like, everybody's making a lot of money. I wasted my time fucking playing sports for season high, losing and shit, when I couldn't make some money on the block. That's what I was 
I could have did something a little more admirable and went into construction. <laughs> <I guess. laughs> yeah. I'd have went into construction. <laughs> There's That's a lot right. of money back then, you know what I'm saying? T know that niggas is clocking, niggas is not showing up to school. <laughs> he didn't see niggas at school at all. When niggas show, they show up with pagers, money. He mad as fuck. Yeah. Like, damn, nigga, where you been at, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> Next thing you know, you skipping class with that nigga. Hey, I yeah. want to say this, nigga. I remember. <laughs> I remember back in the day. I just want to disclose this because it was. It's been over thirty years, nigga. We used to sit on. Uh, what's it? Is it what's the bro? Is it is Mingo and what intersects at the end right there? What's the street? No, two points. Nah, is what, it no two points down towards the bottom or towards the top next? To yeah, the towards the top bottom. No, two yeah. it's no two point. Okay, I remember we used to sit on a uh, little uh, scrappy uh, <laughs> on scrappy uh, fence right there because basically you used to just come by because we just wave down like hey. You know, nigga, we we'll get in the car with him right down the street, serve him, cause they'll drop us right back off right there, right in front of everybody. Uh, allegedly, allegedly, yes. But, allegedly, yeah. allegedly. <laughs> <He's doing laughs> yeah, yeah, nigga, that shit was thirty years ago. Allegedly, yeah, yeah. Uh, allegedly. <laughs> hey. I'm going to catch up with y'all, though, man. My yeah, phone's getting ready to die. It's show, been man. cool, yeah, nigga. Yeah, but how about you? It. All right, man. All right. Oh. Yeah, Al, yeah, you yeah. the double another, shots. Another, um, you know, great podcast that we always come up with. Yeah, today's conversation was was very interesting. I, I do like the, uh, our, our, our uh, last topic, not the, what, what do you regret, but the whole, con artist thing i thought that was really, yeah. you know that was a really good concept i really it, it felt good to argue again you know what i'm saying well i just wanted to know man if some whoever's listening to this because like are you a con artist if you like you like you said the whole conversation who do you agree with most definitely please yeah, let man. us know comment like subscribe, subscribe. Yeah, man. I'll take us to the bridge. And thank you guys once again for listening to Talks About the Hours. We're your host, TJ Bay, Siren Low, Creflo, and Alan Poe. If you like it, you like it. If you love it, you love it. We love y'all. See y'all next week. Y'all take care. Peace. Stay high and stay fly. <laughs>